What's going on everybody? This is Brandon Hill and today I'm going to show you three ways that you could auto pan your sounds from machine. You can get things going from side to side and add some movement to your sound and to your song. So this is the beat that we're going to be working with today to demonstrate. And we are going to particularly demonstrate the auto panning on a closed hi-hat. So we will use this closed hi-hat number three here. We'll use this pattern here where I just did straight 16th notes. So you can see that I have the changes in velocity. So let me solo this so we can see the sound that we're working with here. Okay, so just a, a straight 16th sound with this. And the first way that you could auto pan is by using this channel button right here. So you want to make sure you select the sound that you want to auto pan. You'll go to channel and you see this C right here under pan. That means that it's currently panned centered. If I play this and I start going left, you could see it says L. And the higher negative number, the farther left it goes. And then if you go right, the higher right, the farther right it goes, okay? So like all parameters in machine with the knobs and such, you could automate this. So what we could do is I'm going to have this auto button activated by hitting shift auto. And you see how this is highlighted. That means that the automation is activated. So if I press shift record, I'm going to turn this left and turn this right, and it's going to auto pan the sound. And you can see it being drawn in right there. You see that? Now let's play it in context of the song. You can hear it go on right, left, back to right, back to left. Okay, so that's how you could do it. The second method is also using the automation here, but you could draw it in with a pencil. So if you hit E, your cursor will turn into a pencil and you could draw things in like this. So let me solo that again and you can hear it. So you can hear that going left and right. And here's a trick that if you want to be able to draw cleaner, you could raise this up. And now you could see here, similar to this on the screen where it said C and you could pan it left and right in those numbers where it tells you like 1L, 20L, so forth. You could see those numbers right here. So here's the center. If you draw up, you're going to be going right. If you draw down, you're going to be going left. So you could start here and draw it a little easier since it's a bigger screen to work with and you're drawing with your mouse. So you can start to get something more fluid like that. Okay. So that's the second way to do it. Let me delete this, let me delete that. And then the last and final way, which I also think is the easiest and cleanest way, is to use the LFO. And the LFO is a low frequency oscillator and it could be found by going to the sampler. So I hit plug in to take me here on the sound level. I'm going to go to the sampler for this closed hi-hat. And this is page one, this is what page one will look like. To access the LFO, you will want to go to page five. And you see LFO here, and you can see these percentages, and it'll basically apply the LFO to any of these things. So we are going to want to apply it to the pan. And the LFO type, just keep it as a sign, but you could experiment with these other ones. And when the LFO is a sign, it's going to be evenly going up and down. So the sound is going to pan according to that LFO shape, which is the sign shape. So it's cleanly going to go to the left and to the right. So if I play this and I start to increase this pan percentage, you'll start to hear it. So you hear that start to go left to right. The higher I increase it, the more drastic it is. Oh, I still have my automation turned on. So let me turn that off and let me delete that. Okay, so let's do that again. So you hear it going left and right. And you could adjust these things here, such as speed, which is how fast it will go left to right. So if I slow it down, it's going to take a lot slower. If you hear that in your headphones, it's probably you probably can't hear it as well on computer speakers. And then if I increase the speed, it'll go back left and right faster. Eventually, if you keep increasing the speed, the panning is almost imperceivable because it's happening so quickly. So I'd recommend playing with this and see what you like. Maybe something like that, and let's hear it in context of the song again. So you can hear that closed hi-hat going from left to right. 
Okay, we demonstrated this with a closed hi-hat, but you can use this LFO and the other two methods on any sound that you want to add some movement and to add some variety to your song. And those are the three ways that you could auto pan your song. And with that, that wraps up this video. Those are the three ways that you could auto pan your sounds in Machine. If you like this tutorial, let me know, leave a comment, like, and subscribe because I'll be making many more Machine tutorials like this. So I'll get working on those right now. I'll see you on the next one.